Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a book test review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. It is Friday and typically on Friday I review a magic book, right? That's normal, or at least I try to, right? I try to review a magic book because magic is a wonderful hobby and books have always been there for me. They just have. Um, I've been learning from magic books since I was yay high. And uh, I will continue to tell you about magic books as well as magic tricks, as well as downloads, as well as playing cards and I do giveaways. That's right, I do giveaways every single month. I give away thousands of dollars worth of magic tricks every single year. But today, we're combining the book with a magic trick, and that gives you a book test. And so even though this looks like a book, right, and reads like a book, reads like a book with a real story, this book is secretly a magic trick. Today, we are looking at the daddy from Mark Shan Dow. What is the daddy? <laughs> or maybe you're thinking, why, why is it called the daddy? <laughs> well, uh, because there is also a book test out there called the mother of all book tests. Well, if you live in a patriarchal society, daddies rank higher. <laughs> and so this is Mark's uh, offering to the best book test he can make. All right, so let's say you pay $92 to Michael Murray's MindFX website. What will you get? You'll get the book, right? And I, like I said, it's a real book. It reads from cover to cover as a real book that uh, Mark Shandow wrote himself, by the way. So that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good feat right there. It also comes with a 45-page PDF. Now, this review will be a little different than some of my other reviews because a book test, you kind of have to ask and answer different questions. And I'll try to uh, be as vague as I can while at the same time speaking to the magicians out there so that they understand what this book is and why it's a contender for the best, right? <laughs> um, when Mark was taking a look at other book tests on the market, and thinking about why some book tests work and maybe some features that he enjoys but would rather uh, change things or really make tweaks. He really wanted tweaks so that the book was more, I'll say perfect, right? More perfect. How do you make the book more perfect? More disguised as a real book that you would find from a bookstore. So the first thing was he wanted to put the long word principle in there and it does, you get eight long words in this. So that's not a lot. Uh, it's nice to have a shorter amount of words to memorize. Eight seems more like a doable number, <laughs> right? So there's only eight long words in there. But he wanted the long words to be words that were easier to memorize and words that fit the context of the sentence. So he didn't want just random words scattered about the pages. In fact, he in his notes, went through and highlighted all the long words just so that he could see them on the page. And he would move or delete them depending on whether they worked. He didn't want it to be too obvious, but he also didn't want the word to just jump out. Let's say if the reader read the entire sentence. Does it seem like a weird placement to have that word there? So he wanted eight long words that fit the sentence but were also easy to memorize. He also wanted a book that would fit in the inside coat pocket of his jacket. You know, sometimes we, we call these books pocket books. They've been called pocket books, right? So why shouldn't it fit in your pocket? If you're a mentalist and you're going around strolling, you don't want to have a book that you can't put somewhere. Like, let's, let's make the book, its width and height, something that will fit inside of an inside coat jacket, jacket pocket. So he did. Also, on the inside, he wanted the fonts and typesetting to look like a real book. And that made him go out to real publishing houses and find their submission guidelines. What does it take for an author to submit an actual book? And so he looked at fonts, uh, layouts, and wanted to make sure this book looked like a real book. And the cover. 
He did a lot of study on book covers, what uh, book covers look like nowadays, how they're put out, the artwork that's involved, and he wanted to make sure that the covers were uh, realistic. Now let me tell you a little bit about the covers. Let's say you go down to the MindFX website, you look up the daddy, you're gonna see four covers available. Well, what does that mean? That means you could buy this book four times. The inside will be identical, completely the same, but the covers will have different titles, art, and authors. Which means if you got two books, you could say to the spectator, which book would you like, knowing that it doesn't matter because they're completely identical. And if you noticed from earlier, I have two covers. I have Final Witness from CJ Rivers and Afraid of the Dark by J.B. Taylor. So not only do the covers look completely different, like they would be different books, but different on this side and different on the back as well. Is there an advantage to getting two books? There is. All the long words are on the back of the book. So if I had two books and I handed one out, I could simply hold the other book just because I had it in my hand already and I didn't put it down. And as I'm trying to decipher what long word the spectator is looking at, I can just glance at the back of this book and my crib is right there. So if you're thinking, well, I don't really want to memorize eight words, you don't have to. You'll have a second book with a second crib. Does it have the flashback principle? Yes, it does. It also has the flashback principle. And uh, I really like this one because it's hidden in a new, new-ish, new-ish place. And you'll get the word for the top of the page and the bottom of the page. Which means if I were riffling through the book like this and I stopped and I had the spectator look at this page right here, I could say, tell me what you'd like to do. You can pick this first word here or this bottom word here and I would know both words. The words are completely different. And the crib that I'm using or the peak that I'm using, it's not the opposite word. So I don't have to think like if, if my peak says off, then they're looking at on. That's not that. It, it is the exact same word so that I don't have to take that beat or that, you know, that pause to, to think about, oh, well, what word are they looking at? So in the 45 page PDF, he's gonna cover all the information, tell you exactly uh, all the details of what I just covered. And then he'll walk you through several different ways to do your reveal. So he'll give you some ideas, some reveal ideas. Then he'll even give you some ideas on thought stacking. This would be the idea that you know the word. So how do you use that information to go off of it and to take that revelation to the next level? So he'll talk to you a little bit about that. He'll give you a three-person presentation. That means handing the book out to three people. A two-person presentation and a single-person presentation. All with uh, patter, moves, everything you need. He's also going to include a Pegasus page. What is that? What's the Pegasus page? The Pegasus page is kind of like the uh, mystery card, right? The mystery card is you have a, a card on the table and then by the end of the trick, you turn that mystery card over and it's their signed card. And you think to yourself, that couldn't possibly be. That card's been there the entire time, right? The Pegasus page, the Pegasus page is that similar effect, but then with the book test. So a spectator notices a word and page number. And then when you hand the book to them, they look for that page number, but it's not there. That page has been torn out. You then go to an envelope and pull a single page from the envelope and the page number and the, book, the word that they looked at is on that page. And each book comes ready to go for you to tear a single page out and create a Pegasus page ending. I mentioned that there are four covers, right? There's four covers. So there's two others that are available. I'll show them to you, right? So there's this one. This is called The Gambler. And this one, which is called Nowhere to Hide. So that's the book test. The Daddy, Mark Shandow. It's available at Michael Murray's Mind FX website, and it is $92. I love it. I mean, really, honestly, I love book tests. So I always have a little bit of a bias. I've yet to meet a book test that I don't like. I save all my book tests. I have them up on a shelf. Um, I go back to them again and again because it's, it is such a good premise to have in your tool belt. You know, in addition to playing cards, in addition to billets, in addition to, you know, maybe you do something with coins or maybe you do something with, you know, thread. A book test is just another fun thing to do. And I know they're usually priced a little higher because you know technically 
someone has to pay for the writing and the printing and the cover. There's a lot more involved with printing a book than there is with manufacturing most, web, ma most uh, magic tricks, but it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. And if you've been looking around for a nice paperback that you could carry with you that has all the bells and whistles and is going to look beautiful and give you, you know, just, just everything you want, I, I can't think of anything better. I can't. The, the Daddy from Mark Shandow is awesome. May just, it'll, it is, it's going to be on a top 10 list for this year. Absolutely. It is going to be on a top 10 list this year for uh, Magic Trick of the Year. No question. No question. Thanks to Mark. Thanks to Michael Murray. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Over 600 videos. There are over 600 videos in the Magic Orthodoxy membership section right now, and you can have access to all of it. What's the member section? What's in there? Well, more reviews. Every week, you're gonna get two more reviews. These are tricks that I purchase with my own money every single week, two extra videos. That means you'll have access to eight extra videos a month. There's also gonna be head-to-head -head battles where I pit two tricks against each other. You're gonna see all the unboxings, so you'll see all the tricks that are purchased. You'll see what's coming up way before anybody else. I'm gonna walk you through my EDC several times a year. I'm gonna to talk to you about which routines I'm building with the tricks I purchase, and you'll even get access to tutorials. That's right, I'll even teach you magic. And there's two ways to join, two ways to join. You can first, you can enter in at only $2 a month with The Faithful. As a member of The Faithful, you'll get access to two videos a week, that's eight extra videos a month. Or you can join the inner circle for $4.99 a month. That'll give you access to three videos a week. And the tutorials are there in the inner circle. That's 12 videos a month. How do you join? Right down in the bottom of this video, there should be a square button that says join. You just click that. If you can't find the join button, you can access the link that is in the video description below. Click that, it'll take you to another menu. There you'll get to select whether you wanna join as a faithful member or the inner circle, and then you'll start to enjoy those 600 videos. 600 videos right away. Stay as long as you want, stay a member as long as you want, or cancel at any time. This is just another uh, way that I make content available to you because I enjoy giving back and I enjoy each and every one of you as a follower. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.